In this video, I'm going to show you how to add Google Fonts to your web design. Let's get started. So to get started, I'm opening up a project that I'm currently working on. This is a weather application design that I'm currently designing in CodePen. So at the moment, I have the basic HTML structure and then some CSS styling. Right now, I only have a default font applied to the whole application, but I'm going to want to customize this so it feels more designed. So first, I am going to go to Google Fonts and look at the selection of fonts. I really like using Google Fonts to put in websites because they're free to use and you can easily embed them within your website. Google Fonts has a wide selection of different types of fonts, so I always go here first when looking for font selections. So I already know which font I want to use, so I'm going to write in Montserrat because I know I'm going to want to use this font. So I click into it, and it has a good amount of information about the font, all the characters listed, who actually designed the font, all the styles that it has, and what pairings go well with it. It also has this chart of usage on the side. So to use this font into your website, you're going to go up here and say select this font. When I do, this modal pops up saying that I selected this font family. And then it has a way to embed the font into the HTML and how to include it in your CSS. So I'm going to first grab the link reference, say command C to copy it, go back to my application, and in the header of it, I'm going to paste it. When I do, nothing changes because we haven't assigned that font anywhere in the application. So next, you're gonna go down to the CSS section. You're gonna grab that font family. Again, Command C to copy it. Go into your application and paste it where you want to. So initially, I'm just going to paste it into the body so that way it's applied throughout the whole application. So again, I'm going to say Command V to paste it. And when I do, it's automatically updated and now all the fonts have changed to Montserrat. So this works well here, but what if we wanted to have Montserrat as the header and another font for the actual temperature? So I could go back into Google Fonts and type in another font that I might want to use. So I'll say Open Sans. I'll select this font again and open it up. When I do, it actually gives me the ability to import both of the fonts at the same time. So I'm going to grab this link. Again, just go back to the HTML and replace that link with this new one. And then I'm going to grab this Open Sans and apply it to my temperature font. So right now I have my H1 as these headers and H2 as the temperature. So I'm going to go to my H2 and I'm going to add Open Sans as the font there. So when I do, that font is updated and it overrules that body font that we assigned. So that's how I add Google Fonts to my web designs. Please let me know if you have any questions about the topic and subscribe to stay up to date with my latest content. Thanks for watching.